the city of Akron looking to take steps toward accountability after a deadly police shooting that received national attention. The city announced plans to create a new Citizens Review Board today. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rob Powers. And I'm Courtney Guzman. That review board was the first topic up for discussion at the city's reinstated Reimagining Public Safety Committee meeting this afternoon. Now, that board will serve as an independent community voice when police and city officials are considering citizen complaints about police officers. The board will also play a role in analyzing public safety patterns. In addition, Akron Police also announced today that they're looking at how to get dash cameras into their police vehicles. And tonight we have new details in that shooting itself after many questioned why Walker's hands were not tested for gunshot residue. Well, we ask an expert about that testing and learn new information about what Akron police knew before the chase. Here's News 5 investigator Tara Morgan. We know the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office did not swab or test Jalen Walker's hands for gunshot residue, but why? Case Western Law School Associate Professor Aisha Bell Hardaway says she isn't surprised the county stopped testing for it, calling it unreliable. Um, we know that gunshot residue is easily transferable, easily misinterpreted, um, and has led to uh, the wrongful conviction of numerous individuals across our country. The medical examiner told us last Friday gunshot residue testing can detect specific particles related to a gun discharge, but results are not conclusive as to whether someone fired a gun. It was handcuffed and at the moment where he came into contact with police officers uniforms hands and their handcuffs there's the possibility um, that they may that it may have shown uh, the presence of gunshot residue they weren't chasing him just because of an equipment violation Akron FOP president Clay Cozart says the attempted stop and chase June 27th wasn't the first time officers encountered the car that same night. Followed it on Talmadge Avenue, almost the same route as the uh, chase occurred. Cozart says the same officers who tried to pull over Walker first spotted his car just minutes earlier here at Howard and Talmadge and discovered the car had been in a pursuit the day before in New Franklin. Cozart says the officers ran the plates and let the car go at the Talmadge entrance ramp to Route 8. Not wanting to stop them just for that information and just the equipment violation. Cozart says the officers returned to the Howard and Talmadge area, a known high crime spot where a homicide happened outside a bar about a week before Walker's shooting. When they returned, that vehicle also returned. So that rose their suspicion. Akron police say officers heard shots while chasing Walker's car on Route 8, and ODOT cameras captured what was believed to be a muzzle flash. So where is Jalen Walker's car, a key piece of evidence? I think the car was returned to the family. The AG's office tells News 5 investigators BCI's crime scene unit would have processed the car, and it was released back to Akron. BCI isn't sharing any further details in this active case. And they made a decision based on their observations, their perceptions, and they acted within the law. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.